welcome to this year's Laugh, Love and Learn Senior Live Well Forum. Today there will be discussions about crime prevention for seniors. We will have a fashion show coming up as well as a speaker giving us some basics about wine. This event is a fundraiser for the Pleasant Hill Care Management Program and we have a great crowd attending. Let's join them. Thank you all for being here on this rainy Friday morning. We really appreciate you joining us at the Pleasant Hill Senior Center for our, our annual Laugh, Love, and Learn Care Management Fundraiser. So um, we, we really, really appreciate you. I know the parking can be difficult and the weather is not always nice to make your way out of your cozy houses. So we appreciate you being here and supporting us. I'm Kendra Luke. I'm the supervisor here at the Senior Center. I would like to introduce the group of people who are responsible for putting on this amazing event, our committee. So, in no exact order of importance. <laughs> committee member Lori Bastian from the Chateaus of Pleasant Hill. They're all right over here. We have Randy Farrell from Re Danville Rehab. Jan Neal from Tiffany Court. Sue Forden from Hospice of the East Bay. And then of course our very own Dana Kreider, our care, management, care manager here at the Senior Center. We have tucked into the two, we have Judith Sosnowski from Mount Diablo Adult Education. And then truly the last but not least, we have our program supervisor here, Holly Freitas, who has just done a wonderful job. Next, I would like to thank our sponsors for, without we would not be able to raise the amount of money that we do to support our program. So thank you to our sponsors, the Chateaus of Pleasant Hill. They also provided the breakfast that you found on your tables this morning, so thank them for feeding you. We have Danville Rehab, Manor Care, Grace Healthcare, Kindred Healthcare, Matt Wren with State Farm, Neptune Society, Mount Diablo Adult Education, Luke Design Associates, and of course Pleasant Hill Recreation and Park District. So a big round of applause for our sponsors. Next, I would like to bring up Dana Kreider, our care manager, who will just give you a quick recap of why you are here. Um, well, maybe not why, but why we, why we like to thank you for being here and the amazing program that you help support. Dana Kreider. Thank you, Kendra. Uh, Kendra said I have 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I'm Dana Kreider. I'm the care manager here at the Senior Center. Uh, this is my 15th year with the district, but uh, the care management program has actually been in existence since 1990. Uh, it was originally started uh, by our former supervisor, well, it was kind of the brainchild of Nancy Whaley, who kind of noticed that um, when seniors um, needed help, that there was one entity that they always knew that they could go to, and that was the senior center. So it just kind of made sense to make sure that that care management services were available on site for seniors that needed it. So that was kind of the care management program at its inception. Uh, now we are funded by a grant, partially, a community development block grant for this position. It provides 15 hours of on-site care management services per week. It is a free service, one of the few free care management services in Contra Costa County. Uh, and the other half of the program budget is raised through events like this. So that's why it's so important that you come out today. Uh, we uh, provide care management services to over 150 seniors per year. Uh, and Kendra always like, we always like to kind of think about what the care management program has done throughout the year. And I have to tell you, probably the, the, the best story I can share with you this past year since we've opened was uh, we've been open, what, one year and three months, right? And I would say right before we opened, uh, a senior that I had the privilege of helping uh, didn't drive any longer, and she um, lived in Concord, and it was just not a, a place that was conducive to getting out and coming down to the center and socializing and, and all those important things that we need to do. And 
I'm very proud to say that through the care management program and the help of so many of the, the vendors and people in this room, we were able to make sure that she was moved right down the street here, about two blocks away. She got to the senior center at least three, two, three times a week. Um, and it really, and I'm saying in past tense because uh, she passed away about two weeks ago. But I gotta tell you, for the last year or so, the enhanced quality of life uh, was so important. And it wouldn't have made it been possible without the care management program. So, Rosie, this, today, this one's for you. Dana, can you tell me about today's event? This particular event has gone on for, this is the ninth year for this event. Uh, it actually uh, began as an author's forum and then kind of grew into this event and uh, with the vendor fair. Uh, the program uh, today is a fundraiser for the Pleasant Hill Senior Center's Care Management Program. Uh, the care management program is one of the few free care management programs in Contra Costa County where we uh, provide services 15 hours a week on site to seniors who need help and uh, want to remain living independently. I am with the travel desk, which is the trip office, and uh, we provide day trips about five or six a month, and we also have overseas trips. And we love doing this to show what we are offering. I am past president of the Senior Center, have been involved with Laugh, Love and Learn for several years. I also work in the travel office here at the Pleasant Hill Senior Center. And Joan neglected to tell you that she's part of the fashion show today. <laughs> so it's a great event. We have full participation, a good number of vendors from the community. Why do you think events like these are important for the community that you are in? Already, the community, uh, some of them have come by and asked how do they join the Senior Center and what do we offer? And we've already handed out some uh, applications. And how can they volunteer? This is a very big thing in our community. One of the most important things as far as this event is really getting people out and aware of not just the classes and activities that we have, but really the vital services for some of our more vulnerable seniors, like the care management program, like the nutritious lunch program. So really not that we're just a, a, an active senior center with over 3,000 members now, uh, but really that we have um, something for everybody. And most importantly, today is about the services we provide uh, for seniors that can use a little extra help. The Pleasant Hill Senior Center has a wide variety of activities. Everything from crafts, art, knitting, painting, a lot of dancing. We also have a Contra Costa Cafe, which has meals every day, Monday through Friday. Uh, it is probably one of the few nutritional meals that our seniors get every day. We could not do events like this without the support of the community and without our volunteers. Uh, Patrick and Joan are both being very um, modest today. Uh, they're both huge volunteers, not just uh, at the trip office, they're instrumental on our board as far as making decisions, going out, advocating in the community. Patrick is actually a volunteer driver for the CMP program, and Joan has been here, I think, since yesterday morning at 8 a.m., uh, setting up for this event, and then back at 7.30 this morning. And, you know, we don't give our volunteers a raise. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your work. Thank Thanks you. a lot.
is Lindsay, and I'm Chris Anderson, I'm a police officer with the Pleasant Police Department. Can you tell me about some of the advice that you offer for the seniors today? Well, you know, first off, I just want to say that this isn't advice just for seniors, this is advice for anybody. And one thing that, you know, everybody can do is just be on your toes and be uh, aware of what's going on. Um, you know, identity theft is, you know, a very growing problem. It's the fastest growing crime in the United States. Um, just being aware of who you're giving your information to. You know, when you go into a bank, you can trust a bank, but, you know, with your information, but, you know, you don't know who someone is on the other end of the phone. And there's nothing wrong with forcing somebody to verify their identity or even calling back the company that they say they're representing and then talking to them. Just being mindful and being diligent with your information because you have everything to lose and they have everything to gain. So it's your information, you're the one holding the cards. And what's important for seniors to remember is that um, people will, these scammers will use um, deception to gain, uh, to gain your information. So they will try to represent themselves as something they're not. So validating someone's ID or validating uh, the company that they claim to be with is probably the most important thing, is just being mindful of who you're providing your information to. Why do you think presenting at this event is important for the community? Well, I think it's important for our community because, you know, we have a, a special community. You know, we're not plagued with a lot of extremely violent crime. You know, we have good citizens. We have good neighbors. We have a great city that we live in. And so, you know, people want to take advantage of that. People want to infiltrate that, and they want to gain from that. They want to take advantage of our of our citizens, of our, our, our good fortunes. So it's important that we have uh, an ability to be on our toes and protect ourselves because we're not plagued with some of the problems of other uh, cities. So, you know, that's that's probably the reason why this is most important for our seniors because we do have a large senior community that uh, may not be aware of some of the deception and the tricks that these criminals are using nowadays. So after your presentation, did you walk around and talk to some people who listened to you? Oh yeah, I had a lot of people come up to me and say that this is the first time that they've heard a lot of the information mm -hmm. about uh, forcing the companies to uh, validate their identity and you know just confirm and making these companies work for their dollar you know not just giving your stuff away for free so I think that was the number one um, comment that I received after the presentation was that there was a lot of good information and you know a lot of people came up to me with different scams that they've heard on the phone and how to deal with it so it, it it's one of those things where there's unfortunately so many different types of scams that I can't talk about every one because I don't know everyone and every day there's going to be a new one changing or evolving or coming out. We're glad we heard you talk about this. Thank no, you. No, not a problem. Anytime. You. How was lunch? All right. Our, our models have been busy getting ready, so we're about to start the fashion show. And first, I would like to introduce our MC for the afternoon. Sue Borden from Hospice of the East Bay. So hello everyone. You're probably wondering why um, Hospice of the East Bay would be having a fashion show. But it's actually our thrift stores that um, really help support the community services that we offer. So we're thrilled to be here today. Uh, these are all volunteer models, and it's just been so much fun to work with them. 
So with that, let's get started. This is Joan. I have to be able to tell you that Joan became a great, great grandmother this morning. Look at this. Who would have thought it was raining this morning when you, when you start your day in an outfit like this? Isn't that fun? Reed is another volunteer here at the Senior Center. Next, we have Jan Pressler. Jan's a Senior Center volunteer for 15 years. Doesn't she look fabulous in the violet tones? It's just perfect for her. Peloti is a Senior Vo Center volunteer since 2008. This is a very special treat. <laughs> this is Ryan Harriman. I think you all probably know him. Rental coordinator extraordinaire, Lori Maxwell. Lori has been a member of the Senior Center for 10 years. I'm here with Peggy with Relay for Life. Peggy, can you tell me about Relay for Life? Yes. Uh, Relay for Life is a part of the American Cancer Society and it raises money for research mm -hmm. and to support people that have cancer. It's all around the United States. Different events go on, 24-hour events mm -hmm. that are walking laps for, um, to help support the Cancer Society. It's a 24-hour event because cancer doesn't sleep, so we don't either. <laughs> That's catchy. Tell me about your booth here. This uh, time, the Pleasant Hill Senior Center, is this is their second year they've had a team. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to get more team members and also raise people's awareness. And then for people who can't um, walk themselves or won't be here, we're selling for little donation. We call them laps for loved ones. And they sign up their names and sign up who it's in honor of. And we'll walk the lap for them that day. We'll wear them like I'm wearing them to walk laps to honor the people. So that's what that is? That's what it's up on our wreath for right now until we go that day. Okay. And people keep, we put more and more up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just plan to walk really a whole lot of laps for a lot of people for a very good cause. Can you tell me about your experience today with the event, people passing by, what is some feedback? Oh, it's been wonderful. Yeah. It's people are interested. They want to know what we're doing and why. And so we are able to take the time today. It's given us a bit of time so we can tell them mm -hmm. what it's about. A dear one was a lady that came up and she said, well, I want to give money because I'm a cancer survivor, but I don't have anyone to walk for. And so we told her we, the team would walk for her. So her name's up there, too, Aww. so that we can walk in her honor that day. That's great. Because she survived. And I think the important thing for us here at the Senior Center is some of our people can't walk anymore. They're using walkers or can't do that long walk, and they're delighted that we're providing them an opportunity that they, too, can be part of it. And if they go to the event that day, they'll see it because after we finish the walk, we put these in a very special place in our booth so the names are up that we have walked for All those of people. Them? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much for your time. Well, thank you. It was good. We hope you enjoyed today's highlights of the Live Well Forum. For more information, you can reach out to the Pleasant Hill Reckon Park Senior Center. We hope to see you at the next exciting Pleasant Hill event. The Senior Center is a great place to be. Come on down and join us. Mm -hmm.